Hello friends, uh, welcome again. And uh, this is my new project, Payroll Management System. And I have developed this project in Spring Boot and uh, React. So for backend and for API development, I have used the Spring Boot application. And uh, for frontend application, I have used the uh, React, right? So the version for the Spring Boot, I am using 2.1.6 release and uh, database I am using MySQL. So uh, MySQL version is 5.6. Uh, I'm using for developing it, right? So along with this, all things, right? Uh, I have used HTML, CSS, also for designing the application, right? And for ID, I have used STS Spring Boot tool suits for developing the Spring Boot application and Visual Studio Code for developing the uh, React application, right? For if we if we talk about the ports, then we are using port 8080 for running the uh, Tomcat server application and port 3000 uh, for uh, you can say the React application. Right. So these all technology stacks I have used for developing this project. Right. And this is a major project developed in uh, Spring Boot, React, and MySQL. So let's start with the functionality. Go through what are the features available inside this project. Right. So the project title is Payroll Management System, and this is a major project developed in uh, Java Spring Boot react and mysql so once you run this application on port 3000 you will get this home page you can see this is the home page right all of the stat all of the uh, contents are static here right on the home page all of the contents are static right you can change it right this is the about page and this is a static about page also so about payroll management system if you want to change it then <laughs> you can change from the code directly right this is admin login from here admin can log in and admin can perform the certain certain operations Right, this is a user login and a user can log in, a user can perform the certain operations. This is a feedback page and this is a dynamic feedback page. If you find any of the things here, then it will be saved inside the database and admin can view that, right? Only admin can view that, right? So this is a dynamic page, right? Now I am going to log in as an admin. So the user ID is admin at the admin.com. <coughs> and the password is test, T E S T. And if you submit it, oh, I think uh, there are double N, right? So this is the dashboard for the admin. So it's a basic project one, right? So you can see admin dashboard. So home about employee administration, salary administration, feedback report, right? So home about, I already explained, right? So this is the same thing, right? This is the employee administration. So once you click on it, then you will be able to see all of the employees which admin has added, right? You can edit it, you can see. This is the edit form you can submit it right so submit right and i think uh, there is uh, some issue yes you account so this is the dashboard again employee administration this is the report of the all of the employees if you want to add any employee just click on the add new employee you will be able to add a new employee register as a so employee so you can select the type here registered as employee right and then if you want to delete anything just click on the delete button and that confirm it will ask for the confirmation we want to delete confirm to delete if i click on yes then that record will be deleted from the database right so again, this is the salary administration from here. You can see all of the salary, what you have provided will be displayed here, right? You can see these are the salary, right? If you want to edit it, you can edit it. And this is a download. If you click on this, then payslip will be downloaded, right? You can upload the payslip and that payslip will be downloaded. You can see this has been downloaded, right? If you want to edit, you can edit and you can see this is the whole salary form right here you can fill all of the details and so upload salary slip here you can choose a file and after that you can upload the salary slip also right if you submit it then that will be saved inside the database right if you want to add new then you can add the new employee from here and there is an add new button add new salary from here right so this is the whole form and all of the uh, form details will be saved inside the database this is a report employee report right and then uh, and this is a salary report all of the salary will be listed here and this is a feedback report so all of the feedback submitted by different uh, user will be displayed here right this is a logout and one more thing this is a session driven menu if you click on the layout then this menu will be uh, changed right because it's a session driven it's sending according to the session because admin has logged in that's why you are seeing the different menu if i log out you can see 
the menu has changed but if you log in the menu will be different right so now i am going to log in as a user user at the rate user.com user.com password is test right so i think user at the rate gmail.com i need to check then yes uh, i think i am forgetting it let me check inside the database right yeah so the user login is user at the user.com and the password is test right you can see this is the user dashboard and you can see the menu has been changed because this is session driven as i told you earlier right it renders according to the session because user has login then user will be able to see their records on the right he will not be able to see the other records right so this menu my salary you can see this is the my salary part so this aman kumar user will be able to see his records only. suppose if i am adding the record of different users then he will not be able to see the records of different person right so this is the my salary report and this is the my account from here user will be able to update his account details right so you can see this is the user account right and the logout if I, I click on the logout and this is a dashboard again so you can either uh, go on your my salary and my account from here or either from here right if you click on the logout again session will be destroyed and you will not be able to access the internal pages right so these all features i have developed inside this payroll management system as i told you earlier and uh, as i told you now uh, this is a major project developed in uh, react JS and the spring boot and mysql so if you need any enhancement, any more features inside this project, just put it into the comments. We will incorporate those changes. We will make this project more better and better according to requirements. And don't forget to subscribe our channel for getting the latest project videos on the latest technologies. Thanks for watching the video. Thank you very much.